Swain has so many different builds. And I'm back with a classic Ride Ice Rush. For this you need double mana runes. And I'm up against a Nefiri matchup here. Nefiri is actually pretty easy in my opinion. As long as you dodge at least one of the daggers, she doesn't really do much damage. So make sure you get some autos and Qs in on her when she goes for farm in the early game here. You see I already chunked her down to almost half HP just by hitting her with the Qs and Qs also pushed the wave remember so we're getting that level 2 pretty quickly. She's doing her best just to shove in the wave and now she just used Q before so I'm gonna walk up and fight her here. She wants to crash the wave, I won't let her of course. I'm gonna throw out E here, walk with it and now just simply run her down right. She can only fight you when her Q is up and she used Q to push out the wave. So we get a first blood, I'm gonna base TP since I can't push this in in time. And she's gonna TP back, right? I want to match that. I'm just gonna get Amp Tone Boots back to lane and look to dominate. I now have a very big item gap already. You can see she bought refillable. I have movement speed advantage and I have an Amp Tome. Simply just keep queuing her when she walks up. And the best case scenario is if you can have a wave just outside your tower pulled. So she has to walk really far up whenever she wants to fight you. This is also a reason why the theory is easy. Look at this. The E just connects on the dogs and you can pull her back even when she E's. She's very easy to hit and land your E's on because her dogs will make E extend very easy. Now I stacked up a big wave on the tower, just poke her with Q's and autos when she walks up. It's debatable, I probably could have killed her here some at, with some kind of combo or flash or something. But I didn't want to kind of risk it. I'm just going to take the safe advantage which is forcing her back, crashing wave into tower. And she's bleeding gold and XP. Now I have a blasting wand. We already have 100 AP. And she's starting to do a lot of damage. If she ever tries to jump on me. She's gonna ult here. I can cancel her W with my E. And Shen TP's on her. Just kite a bit back now. Luckily, my jungle is nearby. I'm gonna flash Q. It's not enough though. So just drain some HP auction. I'm gonna do my best to try and push out this wave. Since it's in a very bad spot right now. And I feel like it just based right. They all left. So now I just push this in. And I'm gonna recon. I don't wanna roam down to this fight. It's a 3v3 even when I join and I don't have any mana, right? So it's pointless. Just base. Spend your money. Come back stronger, okay? Tempo is super important and we need to respect that. You can see how I can basically almost get first push at all times. I'm just shopping in some waves now. She doesn't really give me any opportunities and now I have Rylai's. Nerefi, Rome bot. I'm gonna follow it with a TP here, with Rylai's. Look at this, by the way. This is one of your strongest points with the Rylai's rush build. You get item much faster than any other champs. Quickly focus down the Feri so Shen ult doesn't go through. We don't want Shen down here. He's gonna end up TPing as well, though, but we end up using his cooldowns. I get a very nice Q here for the double kill. I sadly cannot do much more. We picked off three guys. And getting the early Rylai's is such a strong power spike because it's so cheap. You usually get a full item before anyone else. And it's just so broken in the early game with the perma slow. Now I just push out the wave. I'm gonna roam bot. They actually managed to pick off my fortune without me. But I see Braum rotating. I'm gonna wait until he runs past me. So we can pick him off as well. This is very good. Make the enemy bot laner lose a lot of farm and XP. Now I just go back to mid, push out the waves. Support bot lane with W's. And uh, yeah, look at how strong I am. With plated, with dry lies, right? Like, even if they're 1v2, I think I win it easily. So I'm just gonna chunk him here when they go on me. Both down to half HP. And just keep up the mid push by swamming Q on the wave.
After pushing away, I'm gonna make my way to Drake. Just to make sure I'm here to fight. Since team fighting is my strongest point as Swain. If I can't get a nice engage here, I'm gonna follow up. L unluckily, Shen TP's in. But now do our best to try and run. I'm gonna try base yet just to go bot since I have TP right, but I end up getting stopped. I'm gonna stay though because one walks up too much, so it's actually easy to pick off. I'm gonna recall now though because there's a bot wave right. Just finish Leander here, push out the bot wave I was talking about, just keep hitting the tower. I can easy win what we want against this Nafi. So I'm gonna try and poke her down a bit with Qs. Because the lower HP she is, the less of a threat she can ever be. I take down tower and I'm gonna just rotate up towards this dragon fight. I arrive late, but I can kind of cut off and I think she can't really go. So we're winning the fight. If she jumps in, I'll just keep slowing her. Now with 5 man mid, just teach down this tier 2 tower. If enemies step up, you can usually just kill them. Even if they're on a tower, right? Look, Shin walks up too far. Just hook him. And we can one shot him, okay? With the team. I'm just gonna play far back since I'm so low HP. Look at this, we're running back. I'm gonna throw an E actually back because this MF is positioning very aggressively. And when I land it, team can just follow up, we kill. I'm gonna try and flash ult to kill this Nefiri, but she also has flash. We do end up taking Nidalee down though. That's okay, now we're just gonna run back again and look at this again. Nefiri walks up. I do this so much. People just run after Swain and they don't respect the E backwards. Like this is master ELO. Like, these players are top. Over 1%. They're among their best players on the entire US server. And they fall for the classic E backwards trick. Now just in the bot lane, pushing out the waves. Since I have TP right, I always show the fight. Once I see stuff is happening at the blue buff, I'm gonna just TP up there. We win anything I'm, I'm part of, basically. So I'm so strong with the Rylai's Leandre. I'm gonna build Sonya's next. You can go these build pairs if you have double mana runes. So you don't really have mana problems. Especially because after 20 minutes you... I get blue buff a lot. So mana is really not a problem as long as you have double mana runes. Well with the Baron now, the objective is just to siege down tower, so that's what we do. We take bot lane tier 2. And just take down Drakes whenever it's up, when you're this far ahead. I'm gonna drop down to the bot, make sure that wave is pushed as well. And I'll just recall and spend your money, okay? I'm building towards Jack Show here fourth. I want some more tankiness. I find the enemies in my jungle. And Rakanda's a very nice engage, but sadly, look at this, I'm just cc forever. I really wanted to press Sonya's, but it wasn't possible since I was stunned. And that's, now I'm just gonna ping my team to back off. I don't think they can win here without me. They get out, and now I'm just gonna drop down bot again. Make sure the waves are pushed right. Remember when you have TP, you can be so flexible in the side waves. Make sure your CS stays high. But after pushing bot, I'm actually rotating in towards mid, looking for picks, and we actually end up finding this MF. And with a great E here, I hook bomb as well. And just try and chase enemies down. So we're three people dead on death timer because we caught this MF. Because I was there, right? I was there to catch the bomb as well. 
we now have an opening where we can just march down mid and look to take out their base. I have a little too much fun though. I'm gonna flash after these guys and uh, we don't have a mini wave anymore and now I just gotta die. But nonetheless, just come back to the map. My team is starting to do Baron. They picked up with Imif. So I'm gonna run mid now. And the theory thinks we all recalled, but she doesn't know I was back way earlier than my teammate. So she tries to push out the mid wave. So I catch her, and when she's in the right ice, slow stride, she can't really get away. So I just pick her off. Gonna recall, get Jack Show. Now I'm pretty invincible. I'm gonna drop down to the bot, make sure the wave is pushed. So let's say they just ace us in mid lane. They can't just TP to the bot wave and end the game, right? So I'm gonna push that out first. And now I can just use the TP when my people need me. And just look for a fight. I'm trying to fish for an E here. And MF steps up a little too far. And we had catch her. She is priority target, right? So just ult here, run in. I'm just gonna run in and just go crazy now. See just how potent this Rylas first is. It's super cheap, you get it early, and you can just dominate people so hard with the slows. Well, now into game two, I'm up against Corgi. This matchup is much harder, it's very meta right now. I do my best to queue him and the wave to get some push going. But you can see, look just how strong he is when he walks up and autos and ease you. I tried to fight back here because I have castles, but that was not smart. I get chunked a bit here. I'm gonna try just keep queuing him. Seizing this level 2 prior. I get that 2 first. I'm gonna walk up and try and land E, but it's not really playable. I keep trying to put some pr more pressure on him, queuing him a bit. And I actually managed to land an E here finally. But this was a trap. Shaco was nearby, so I actually ended up going down. It's okay, I have TP though. I'm gonna TP back. I don't lose much XP. Now I'm just gonna try and fight him here. Stop him pushing out this wave. I can't do it though. So I'm just gonna clean up this wave, push in the next. And then I'm gonna look for a base again for myself. So I have 300 gold here. I want to spend on boots so I can maybe survive a bit better in the lane with the movement advantage. Basically, I just need to chill a bit, try and farm up until. Rylies or until a uh, fight level 6 happens in the river, etc. Right? So just survive and get towards that Rylies spike. Okay. I'm just doing my best to avoid him because, as you can see in this fight, like we don't even come close. Like he can easily just beat me up if he wants to, right? I get really low here, luckily I have TP up again, so we managed to get back to mid, push out. I'm getting closer and closer to this rally spike after pushing the way. I'm gonna go towards spot and just look for help with a W and actually managed to pick up Cardus here. So I can push out the wave again now. Shako tries to invade, I want to stop him, I don't want him taking my, my jungle rolls farm here. Since Raptors and Red is upright, I'm gonna force him back, waste his time and I still need 40 gold more. For Rylai, so just walk in mid again. Clean up this wave. After taking out the wave, I'll go towards top lane because there's a fight happening. Maybe I can snipe two stacks and an assist, right? That would be very nice. But I actually managed to get another kill with W. We are sniping people so hard. So I find the recall timing and finally get my Rylice now. And now I'm super strong in these team fights, in these jungle skirmishes, right? So I'm gonna move towards this Drake. I really want to fight this. Because I know my power is insane with these items already. This is one of your strongest points when you, when you go this Rylice rush, right? You have an item much quicker than anyone else in the game because it's only 2600 gold. I do mess up though. I go in alone 
but just like look at this i'm 1v4 1v3 i'm dealing out so much damage showing everyone imagine if there's like two three people nearby like you can just see the strength right like it's super potent and now i actually am not that scared of this corky anymore as you can see now he dashes forward this is a big mistake from corky because with this rylice he actually can't do that anymore as i can win the all-ins and you can see the all-ins actually look very simple here like he only took me down to half hp and with him dead i'm just gonna push out the wave i see shako go invisible here and with the rylice close again look i can land all my abilities and with some good kiting and spacing, I actually managed to take down this Shako as well. This is so valuable for me. So I now actually have a big lead with these 4 kills I have. And I want to show you guys, you can legit build anything when you go this Rylice build first. So I'm actually gonna go the good old Cosmic Drive second now. So we get the insane mobility, okay? And now since mid game started right, I'm pushing out the side waves. I don't have TP yet, so instead of just going down to the fight, I just let my team lose it, okay? Just let them lose, I'm gonna take this top lane tower get 700 gold plus waves like top lane tier 2 is probably one of the best and easiest objectives to take so i'm gonna take that and now i'll rotate down towards the fight in mid lane since enemies are still sticking around if i can get in range i can slow them all i sadly can't catch up though so i'm just gonna base spend their money Get the Cosmic now, Cosmic Rylize, you are super fast, it's very fun, it's probably my favorite, like if you just want to have a fun build, this build is super super fun, since you're so fast and the enemies can't move right, you can do a lot of spacing and kiting, so now I just pick off the Jax here, he was overextending, back to farming side waves, Shaku gets in the way, so we just pick him off again, And now just push out the mini waves. After pushing out top wave, rotate towards mid to give your team some cover so you can take down another tower, right? Like, do you see this? The league is all about like, pressuring sides, rotating to mid, getting more objectives, right? Creating man advantages on the map. Like, this is what you need to do. I'm pushing top again, and I really want to TP into mid now, but there, I'm, there's legit nothing to TP to. There's not a single ward, there's not a single nothing. So I need to run. It looks like I'm grieving a bit since I'm not there, but. I thought it was possible with the TP to be able to join this fight, but it sadly wasn't. But I'll be, I'll be there, I'll just be a little late now. Maybe I can clean up and that would be okay as I will then. Well, with my help we managed to take down two more players. So it's actually pretty fine now. And I got to push in waves top. So I'm gonna push mid wave and just drop back into top again. I still have TP right. I'm gonna build Frozen here. I'm just gonna go full tank after these two mobility items. Just to create space and be unkillable for my team. I want to go bot now. Make sure these waves are pushed. Remember I have TP up. I can always just join my teammates in mid lane if they get in trouble. I'm gonna push out these waves. My team are doing great on their own. And now with picking off Karus. They can force Baron or pressure it at least. While I am pressuring bot lane, because there's not really anybody that can be down here. I mean, Jax could run down here, but then the, my team just draws Baron, right? So it's like a checkmate for enemies. And I actually managed to take down this tier 2 again, right? We've taken now two tier 2s. That's 1400 gold just in tier 2 towers. Like, we're getting so fed off these towers. Don't underestimate how much value you get from side laning and pressuring towers. Like I'm almost 4 items at 24 minutes. Just by being consistent, just by being in the side lanes with the TP. It's not like I wasn't there for any fights, right? I could always join with TPs. But I just got so much done by being in the side waves, pushing towers at the right places, pressuring the enemies, right? So now we can just force down their base and try and take down some inhibitors so we can open up their base even more than it already is. Well, bot laner inhibitor is down. That's one of the best inhibitors. It's the opposite of Baron. It doesn't really matter that much right now because we already took Baron. But now I'm just gonna base, get the jack show. I'm gonna push out this bot wave again since I can always just TP right. And the enemies are on death timer. We just wanna fight in mid lane, I think. We're gonna just try and take down the, their base here. And I'm up against 
1v2 in the base Corky center. But look at this. I'm just going to kite a bit. I'm so fast until I land the E on center and I can just almost one-shot her. And think about it. I'm like full tank apart from the Cosmic Rhylize. Like we're doing a lot of damage and we're just so fast. And I do not have mana problems, guys. Even though I don't have mana. It's, I just double mana runes, guys. And especially if you also build like Frozen Heart somewhere. That gives 400 mana as well, right? This build is very solid and you spike extremely early on. Just become very useful for the team. It's not the highest damage build, don't get me wrong. This is what I would consider Tank Swain. You always build Rhylize first into situational items or whatever you're liking. Rhylize first is a great start. You provide your team with so much utility early on. Go try it in your games. I hope you enjoyed this video and have a great day.